And a real woman has real dreams Can buy her own things Cause a real woman has her own means Hey pretty girls with the Poppin' Curls. So today we're going to be doing a three strand twist out and right now I'm just wetting my hair with my 360 spray bottle and it is warm water in here. And then I'm going to go in with the Curls Dynasty Twisted Definition Twisting Cream. Um, I really like this twisting cream. Um, we're not going to use a lot, just a little bit and... Um, like I said, we're going to be doing the three strand twist out. So, um, this is the, about the size of the sections that I'm going to be using for all of them. And I'm going in with my dimming brush just to make sure it's no tangles left. Cause y'all know that dimming brush will get caught on any tangle that is in your hair. Um, so now I'm separating my hair into three and this is just me giving you an example of how I was like all over the place when I first started. Like I thought I had it down packed and then once I started doing it, I realized that like I kept forgetting like which hair was supposed to go next. So this is just an example of like how natural hair YouTubers are regular freaking hair people just like y'all at home. And we make mistakes too. Some of that stuff just gets cut out. So whichever direction you're twisting the hair, you're going to grab the outermost piece of hair and twist it in that direction first. And then you're going to get the hair that's in your pointer and thumb finger. And that's going to be the next hair that goes. And once you reposition your fingers, just remember that that's the hair that goes next. See, and I'm going to get the hair that's in my pointer and thumb finger. And wait, did I just mess up? See how I just messed up? It doesn't mess the hairstyle up. But anyway, so... You get the outermost piece of hair and twist it across. Then you reposition your hand to get the piece of hair that was in between your pointer finger and thumb. Twist that over. Reposition your hand again. And basically you just keep doing that exact same thing. So twist that over. Grab the hair that was in your pointer finger and thumb. Twist that over. Grab it. Reposition hands. Twist it over. Grab it and reposition your hands, twist it over, grab it, reposition your hands, and twist it over. And it's it's always that piece of hair that's in between your pointer and thumb finger. You just have to remember which piece of hair was in your pointer and thumb finger when you reposition your hands. And if you focus too much, you get kind of messed up. And I feel like that's what I did um, in that first part just now. But anyway, so we're going to be doing the exact same thing. This is just another angle of it. Um, twist that right piece over. Reposition hands. And make sure you don't get any like loose pieces of hair mixed up in it. So again, outermost piece of hair. Twist it over. Get the next outer piece of most of hair. Twist it over. Really, all you're doing is twisting the outermost piece of hair over. If you remember that, then you're pretty much um, good. As long as you don't keep second-guessing yourself. And that was messing me up. I kept second-guessing myself like, was that it? But anyway, this is it in slow motion. So we're going to grab, we're going to reposition our hands. Then we're going to get the outermost piece of hair. Right now, I'm pointing to the next hair that has to go across. But anyway, twist that over. Reposition your hands. Twist that piece over. Reposition your hands to grab that outermost piece of hair again. Twist that over. And see, it's the piece of hair that's in my pointer and thumb finger. Reposition. Whoop. Twist it over. And literally you're just doing the same thing over and over. Getting that outermost piece of hair and twisting it over the other two sections. You just don't want to get mixed up when you're repositioning your hand. And I feel like that's what people mess up. You get confused when you reposition your hands because that is what kept happening to me. And I showed it to you in real time. Then I showed it to you in slow motion. This is in fast forward. Um, I didn't feel the need to keep showing you guys it in fast forward because this is, I feel like, needs to be a detailed tutorial being that it's three pieces of hair and people can easily 
get confused with how, how to twist the hair and I really wanted to let you guys see exactly how to do it because when I was watching different tutorials people would do it but they wouldn't actually show you like I don't know not in really much detail they would say it was detailed but then once you get into it it's like oh you do this and you do that but they don't like actually give you actual details like I don't know if y'all know what I mean but if you watch some videos before mine and then you got to mine then you know exactly what I mean so um, then once you get to the end of the hair, I'm going to coil it around my finger just so you can get that set curl at the bottom. And now I'm about to show you um, again what I did. Again in slow motion, one time for the one time um, on this side of your head. So going over the other two strands of hair, grabbing the hair that's in my pointer and thumb finger, twisting that one over grabbing the hair that's in my corner and thumb finger again twisting it over grabbing the hair that's in my thumb and pointer finger again twisting it over because that is the outermost piece of hair and literally you doing the same thing and some people say they get confused and start braiding i never got confused and started braiding i just got confused of what piece of hair was supposed to go next sometimes now this side of my hair is going towards my face so I grab the outermost piece of hair from the other way and twist that over the other two sections and I'm still going to be doing the exact same thing only this time it looks like it's taking me a little bit longer but that's because I had postpartum shedding in the front so I'm trying to make sure that hair is still in my hands and I'm trying to make sure it stays tight so um, it doesn't get puffy with those short pieces of hair that's in the front. So I'm doing the exact same thing, just the opposite way. Well, it looks like it's the opposite way because it's on the opposite side of my head, but it's the same way. Um, it's just a little bit different because it depends on if you're right-handed or left-handed. So I found the other side to be easier to do to take it across since I'm right-handed. So this time you're getting the outermost piece of the hair again, but you're bringing it forward. And you're still repositioning your hand to grab that piece of hair that was in between your pointer and thumb finger. Repositioning your hands, taking it across, getting the piece of hair that was in between your pointer and thumb finger. And I must have just fast forward. This is going fast. Okay, yeah. And that is just in fast forward because I guess I felt like, you know, you know what you're doing now. And it also shows like you get your own rhythm. Once you get it down pack, you really get your own rhythm. Um, The clips that I'm showing you guys, I was doing in a... A slow way so I could be able to um, show you guys the motions of my hand but once I started going fast I just was literally like just taking that hair across with like no issue at all so now I'm just gonna stop talking because I'm done with explaining how to do the actual twist part and now we are about to get ready to do the takedown so this is my whole entire hair finish. I let my hair air dry for two days and now we're getting ready to do the takedown. So you twist the hair the opposite way of the way that you twist it. Just twist around your finger so it can start to separate itself because you don't want to create like any added frizz that, you know, may happen in the first place. So that's exactly what I'm doing and it separated itself. So now I'm just untwisting like this one piece from the other two sections. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with the um, two pieces of hair that's still twisted together. I'm just going to untwist those from each other also and twist it the opposite way so they can uncoil themselves. Be careful with the ends too because you don't want to add added frizz um, to your hair because I tend to do that sometimes. But to get the curls to go back the way they're supposed to, twist it around your finger the way that you twisted the hair and the curl will go back the exact same way it's supposed to go and I'm going to be doing the exact same thing for the um, other sections twisting it the opposite way of the way that I twist it so the hair can separate it for myself and just keep separating the three strands of hair from themselves also and once you get the three strands of hair out of the twist then um, with each strand of hair you just twist it around your finger the way that you twist it so you can create that curl again because you don't want to lose that curl or have it twisted all in weird type of ways and I'm just going to keep doing the exact same thing for all the next sections baby seems like everywhere I go I see you 
from your eyes your smile it's like i breathe you and this is all of the twists out of my hair look how pretty it looks um it looks extra moisturized but actually it wasn't as moisturized as i'm used to i know it looks extra shiny on camera but um yeah, and I've already showed you guys how to take down twists in plenty of times. This is just a regular takedown, like doing a two-strand twist now, but just pull on the hair so it can naturally separate itself and then twist it around your finger the way that you twisted the hair so you can keep that curl. And as always, be careful so you don't create extra frizz. Don't try to make your own sections because that would create frizz too. It'll make the hair look a little puffy. So, um, yeah. So this is one side all the way taken down. And I'm just doing a comparison so you guys can see a full takedown versus a basic takedown. And honestly, I wish I would have kept the basic takedown because that was really cute before I took it all down. And then sometimes you get those pieces of hair that just separates flawlessly with, without you even have to like touch it. Like look at that. It's already in its sections. And I'm still going to twist it around my finger just to make sure. And twisting it around your finger is not like a necessity. But it does help you make sure that the curl stays the most perfect that it can be. But um... It would be fine also if you didn't twist around your finger. It just uh, probably look like have a more volume to it. But my hair has a lot of volume, period. So, um, yeah. And this is the end. This is the back of my hair. Um, you see some of my ends look a little fuzzy. That's because I was being rough taking it down. Don't be rough taking it down. But um, I hope you guys like this video. I hope I helped you. And as always, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment down below to start a conversation. And make sure you share this video. And go follow me on Instagram. See you in the next video. Bye. Everything I work for, everything I got, now turn on the lights. I'm looking forward to. I heard he keep his promises and never turn on you. I heard he ain't gon' cheat and he gon' never make no move. I heard he be there anytime you need him, he come through. Now turn on the lights. I'm looking for him. I'm looking for him. I'm looking for him.